Hello everyone and welcome into your KLBK Sports Connection. Hopefully you've enjoyed the holiday. A few days off of work, the Texas Tech football season is officially over after the Red Raiders lost in Austin, Leah Doherty's hometown, to the Texas Longhorns. Plenty of time to break down this season and look forward to 2020, but for now, how did Tech lose to Texas after jumping on top 14 to nothing in the first quarter, you might ask? Maybe Texas came out sleepy, which you could hear on the broadcast if you watched the game live, but more than anything, it seems as if the team ran out of gas. After leading the game 21 to 14, they were outscored 28 to 3 the rest of the way, including a 75 yard touchdown one play after Tech took the seven point lead. Injuries to key players like Jordan Brooks took away depth. Once Texas was rolling, the explosive Red Raider offense didn't seem to have the same sizzle, leading to a disgusting 25 point loss. I think we got tired at some certain spots and we didn't tackle very good in the second half. Um, I thought we tackled well most of the year, but it wasn't real good today. They made plays. Um, they, uh, you know, Patterson says all the time 14 to nothing lead is one of the worst leads you could ever have um, because I think sometimes the complacency sets in and I'm not sure if it did, but uh, it apparently may have. Um, but they made plays to get right back in the game. They're, they're a good team, and, you know, they hit some shots on us. Got them right back in it. The number 12 Texas Tech Red Rear basketball team wishes their losses could have stayed in Vegas after dropping their first two games of the season to Iowa and Creighton. One of the biggest issues, it seems, was the defense. Hayden into the Continental Tire Las Vegas Invitational, the Red Raiders were allowing 60 points per game. But the Hawkeyes scored 72, while the Blue Jays racked up 83 in overtime, but still 83 points. Add in each opponent shooting over 40% from three, and Tech's 12 for 54 from beyond the arc, and you don't have a very good recipe for success. You know, the three-point shot's a college basketball shot. You have to take it. I think, um, you know, obviously it was a part of Creighton's game plan. Um, but, you know, I mean, as bad as it was for us in the first half, we hit some threes in the second half. So um, we're trying to get the best shot we can, you know, in two close, hard-fought games. You know, Captain Obvious here, we can't be 10 points down to Iowa at halftime. We can't be 14 points down to Creighton at halftime. And ultimately, that falls on me, and I've got to figure out a way to coach these guys better, and I will. The high school football playoffs not over quite yet. Four West Texas teams have already advanced to an action earlier today. We'll start in Abilene for some taps action. The Lubbock Christian Eagles facing off with the Colleyville Covenant Cougars. Great alliteration. Early in this one, Eric Myers punches in a five-yard Cougar touchdown, and the Eagles are down 6-0. Now still up six. Cougars driving a little pass to the side here to Josiah Malcolm. He gets the hit. That causes a fumble. Zeke Lott is there to pick it up. That's an Eagles ball. Next possession, LCHS would respond. Alex Timmons throws to Calum Coates for an 18-yard touchdown. Great blocking there. And then Timmons to Cash, Cash Howard for the two-point conversion. Eagles go on top 8-6. to six. They would never trail again. Lubbock Christian rolls in this one back to the Taps state title for the first time since 2004, beating Colleyville Covenant 63-32. They will face off with Geneva in the state championship. Now in 1A high school football, Borden County was the number one team they take on Rankin, and my goodness, 78 to 32 is your final on that one. So for those of you keeping track at home, we have five teams still alive in week four. Now, KLBK Sports Connection. With the latest Dallas Cowboys coverage, this is Silver Star Nation. Sponsored by Lubbock National Bank. Dallas Cowboys coming off another disappointing loss to a team with a winning record, the Buffalo Bills. Dallas back in action this Thursday again, but one of the biggest cries from fans this week is some change at the top, and that's where we'll bring in the Silver Star Nation's Mickey Spagnuolo for more on the stability of the Cowboys coaching staff. 